Saudi. I'm becoming a real Saudi here. Two, one. Let's do it. <laughs> Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. So it's my last full day in Saudi Arabia, sadly. And it's actually the nicest day of the trip so far. Yeah, I think it's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So beautiful day, sunny, warm, and the city is alive. It's Saturday, so the second day of the weekend. And have a little downtime before I meet up with the guys again to do some more arranged activities. But um, for now, I'm looking for uh, a coffee shop to sit down. I, I slept a little bit last night, which was nice. I think I slept like six hours, about twice as much as I have any other previous night recently. <laughs> yeah, I just want to share my thoughts on the uh, concert last night and just some things I observed because I think that was a really interesting experience to have in Saudi Arabia. So yeah, I'm going to find the coffee shop, hopefully nearby, I think, and then catch up there. Little underground mall here. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. A lot of different kinds, I don't know what to get. Okay, so I got my coffee finally. In this little market here. But I wanted to uh, share my thoughts on that concert last night. So it was uh, Brian Adams and, and uh, Zed. And concerts have only been legal here for the past year and a half or so. So people there, like you could feel the excitement in the air. People were so pumped and just like thrilled to be at this concert and having a great time, completely without alcohol. I mean, it's possible people do it in their private homes, but the majority of people seemed sober and just having an amazing time. It's also the place I noticed the most uh, integration with women the, my whole trip. And yeah, I meant to give a disclaimer earlier on in my videos, but um, obviously my experience here is as a man. I can't speak for what the female experience is like here in Saudi, but just giving my observations. Up until last night, I really hadn't had not even spoken to any woman. They, you don't go out of your way to say hi to them, and they, I think the general rule is don't really initiate a conversation. Let them do that, and then if they do initiate with you, then you're, you're fine, but you don't go around, you know, chatting women up on the street, that's for sure. But last night was a little bit different. Um, in this concert, it was like a general admission area, so we're all standing on the, on the, uh, on the floor, um, you know, kind of beneath the stage. And the majority of women there, actually, Saudis, um, Saudi women did not have a hijab or uh, some of them not even the abaya, which is the long black kind of gown that they uh, usually wear. So that was interesting. It was kind of like when they go to the concert, it's kind of like separate from the rest of their lives. And that was what my friends told me, basically. They're like, they might dress differently in, in the rest of their lives, but here for the, for the concert, they'll they're gonna let loose a little bit and it's totally mixed in on the general admission floor so people were you know there were it's still heavily dominated by men percentage wise I'd say 80 to 85 percent male um, but with some women mixed in there as well the interesting thing is people were uh, getting up on, on people's shoulders but it was always guys on their friends shoulders on their guy friends shoulders whereas typically I was telling my friends in the West or in America that would be more typical to see a girl on her guy friend or her boyfriend's shoulders and uh, so that was kind of a funny little observation. Oh, and it's prayer time. Hopefully we can uh, hear me here. The other thing that was interesting was um, couples in Saudi Arabia really don't go out in public or have not in the past at least. I think that's loosening up a little bit now but um, you definitely wouldn't want to be showing any public displays of affection. Definitely no kissing or anything else but uh, Last night there were couples in the crowd just openly kind of, you know, holding each other, guy's arms wrapped around her, something like that. So that was interesting and it was unique enough that my friends, my Saudi friends were like, dude, look at that. Look at what, look, 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 look what they're doing. As if that was something notable and, you know, worth pointing out. So that's new here and uh, I think it's a gray area and people are kind of, uh, 
pushing the boundary and seeing kind of you know where the where the standard lies. So as I said, I didn't really haven't spoken to a Saudi woman uh, this entire trip really, just in shops if I need to or um, friends of some of the guys I've been hanging out with. And then on Snapchat, I've been getting a lot of Snapchats from Saudi women, but in person, barely at all. I guess uh, the only other thing I wanted to note is just all of the stuff, all the stuff I just mentioned. You can like, you can really sense it, you can feel it, how change is happening so rapidly here. You know, just over the last two, you know, one and a half to three years, I think, there's been so much change from the cinemas to the loosening up of uh, dress requirements for women to the concerts coming to the kind of limiting the religious police, the mutawa here. Um, and you can just feel it, like everyone is excited, the change is tangible. Not that I've been here before it was happening, obviously, because another one of the changes was the tourist visa becoming available. But um, you can feel that people are excited, you can feel that things are changing, that a lot of these things are new, and people are just really happy, and especially the young people. Saudi Arabia has a huge young population. I think it's a good time to be young in Saudi, to be a young adult in Saudi. It's uh, fascinating, and really, I spent most of the concert just looking around me more so than at the stage, just uh, <laughs> experiencing these people's experience if that makes sense. And some certain moments in that concert when the Zed DJ is up there, beats dropping and everyone's jumping up and down and just going crazy and you look around and it looks like you could be anywhere in the United States, anywhere in Great Britain, whatever. And I had to remind myself like, wow, I'm in Saudi Arabia right now, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It's crazy, totally crazy. So a mind-blowing experience. Thank you to my friends Moat and, and Ahmed for bringing me there. That's definitely something I won't soon forget. Okay, and it's prayer time now, but um, everyone here is eating al a famous fried chicken place here in uh, Jeddah. And I tried it in Riyadh, but everyone has told me uh, that is not the real thing, and I have to have it in, in Jeddah because that's where it came from. And actually the menu is more expansive here in Jeddah. Right now it's uh, prayer time, so the place is closed. But um, I'm going to go grab some and I'm excited to try. Okay, and apparently I'm not the only one with this idea. So this is the post prayer rush. Okay, I got my receipt here, and now I get to join this fun crowd, all waiting for their orders. So the first time I had to do that in Saudi was very overwhelming. <laughs> but you just wait for your number to come up on the screen and then you uh, try to get the guy to take your, your receipt. Shukran. Okay, that was very stressful. But I made it through. Got my Diet Pepsi. Wow, this is massive. Let's see. Wow. This is the small order. So, big pieces of chicken here. And you get like a sesame bun for some reason, I guess if you want to eat with that. I'm going to jump right in. This is the spicy kind. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and vouch for it. I can see why it's very popular. It's very, very good. Spicy, but not too spicy. Very good. Very tender and juicy and it has like the hot sauce inside, like the orange inside, which is kind of interesting, but very, very tasty. Gotta have the wet wipe to turn this camera off. Okay, I'm back with Moet. Yeah. And now we are going to... Um, get me some traditional Saudi clothing for my last day in Saudi. 
So it's called uh, Thob? Thob and Thob Shamal. And Shamal. Yeah. Okay. And I look like a real Saudi. I'm excited. I've been wanting to try it, so this is going to be good, I think. Okay. Oh, can I get my measurements? Okay. <laughs> Abiyad, Abiyad. Let's see if you're ready. What's he say? Just uh, white or just uh, the white. traditional. Yeah, the traditional. White, uh, red and white. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Up and over. Are you? He's doing it. Take it side. Try to get it inside. Wait a minute. Yeah. Maybe a little tight. Yeah. Yeah. Now. You you hit it. Okay, I'm becoming a real Saudi here. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh huh. Just. Um, a real Saudi. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just look at me. Okay. The style. Yeah. Think. It's good kind of. Good. Yeah. That's. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's a good start. Okay. But it's not totally perfect. We will make. We will make it perfect. So. Wow. Look at me. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Moat. You're welcome. And thank you. Shukran. Thank you, thank you. Now you became a sheikh. Yeah, I'm a sheikh. Yeah, you became a sheikh. So. <laughs> Listen to me. Let me pay for this. No. You're not. You're not gonna let me. No. Why not? <laughs> you're my guest. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ugh, you won't let me pay. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're crazy, man. Thank you. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank you're you welcome. so much. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. No, it's not mine. Oh my god. We're all guests here in this country, so. We deserve Shukran. that. We deserve that. I know, no. <laughs> I need to repay you somehow. No, you guys no, have been way no, too generous. No. Oh my goodness. When you come here, when you come to that city, I'm buying everything, okay? Okay. Then you're my guest. Yeah. Okay. okay. In our values, that we just honored our guest and. Uh, be generous here. Oh I guess my so. gosh. I know, it's, I just I'm like it's something in our blood, you know? Yeah. 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 Saudi uh, amazing Saudi hospitality. Okay. The thobe and the what's it called? Shimal. Shimal? Yeah. Has been obtained. I'm back in my western boring clothes. And uh, we're going to pick up Ahmed. Yeah. And then we're going to the desert, huh? Yeah. To the desert! Okay, we're going to the desert now. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go spend some time in the desert in the Jeep. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And uh, have some fun out here. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> كل واحد طالع فنو هابيت وكمان لي وجيكم ويهايت انت احريك دم وبس هو كده Yeah, just warming up. <laughs> and this is uh, Tamar's car, and he says we are going uh, bringing the, the PSI down to 15 for tire. And that'll make it better for driving in the sand. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. The view is incredible. Ahmed.
Steven. Orfa. Uh, yeah, yeah. Try to coming up. Oh, coming up the hill. So I will try to take it, but it's we are too heavy. Here. Okay. But, uh, we have to take it down. But maybe Ahmed get out. See that? <laughs> I'll get this one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try to go up this hill, this huh? This one is easy. I can do it. Uh -huh. This one. Uh, this one straight ahead. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> we have to uh, decrease the weight of the car. Five okay. percent is too much. But let's try. Why not? Here we go! Okay, down we're going. All right, we're gonna try again. Back up the hill. Ready for takeoff. Yalla. And your mother made uh, Arabic coffee yeah. for us? Yeah. Moat's mother, thank you so much. So these are like uh, little cookies? Mamul. Yeah, it's Mamul. called Mamul. Yeah. Mamul. Oh, and dates. Oh, the sand. I think I've eaten some. <laughs> yeah? Kaleja. Kaleja. Kaleja, that's that? Yeah, yeah, this is a tradition also. Okay. Uh, it's come from uh, the same west of the country. Oh, okay. It's, uh, something like uh, baking of uh, ba uh, baking desserts. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 this with the gahwa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Just any card you want. Okay. This one. Don't show me. Just tell me. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Now keep okay. it. Yep. I just know your car. I didn't touch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will look for you. I work to you. And I will know that car. <laughs> okay. Let's look okay. at me. Look you're going to change again? Say what you're going to okay. do. Imagine about your car. Mm -hmm. We have two cars, two options. <laughs> Red and black. Okay. Uh -huh. Your car is black. It is. Okay. <laughs> black we have two ships. Syria uh, and Canada. The spade and the yes. club. Spade and club. Yeah. yeah, spade and club. Your card is just image about your. Yeah, yeah, it's spade. <laughs> spade. Yeah. Shut the camera. Get out of here. Your card, your card is number, not shape. Uh -huh. No, no jacking. Uh -huh. No, 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 it's number. <laughs> it's a number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Yeah, it's nine. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Best magician in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Thank oh you. Bye-bye, desert. No, Till next time. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs>
<laughs> so this is a surprise photo shoot that I didn't know about until this morning, thanks to Moab and these guys. Okay. So this is happening, I guess, and uh, I have uh, my shamal and my tobe. Yeah. Okay, look authentic. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Look, yeah, I look great. almost real Saudi. Okay. Yeah. And Peter is amazing photographer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go and do the foot shoot thing and yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's I'm kind of psycho. I like to put my prison stuff in my office. Okay, let's do it. There's my friend and here's my Good, I probably needed that. I've been walking around in the sun all day. So for now it's still light testing, okay? Mm-hmm. You need to center it, just double click the black button. Oh okay. <laughs> Oh, triple click yeah, spins yeah, it around. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what? Triple, triple click again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the final feast. So the final feast, we have more albaic. <laughs> we have fish chicken here. Oh yeah? Fish oh yeah, there's shrimp there. This is what I had for lunch today. So there's no better way to, to end my Saudi trip, I think, than with uh, more albaic in the same day. Ah, okay, no more video, time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Well, uh, I'm on my way to the airport. Um, Moat here is nice enough to drive me at 3 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning right now. <laughs> and Ahmed and Ahmed are both meeting us there just to say goodbye. So, so nice of them. Um, but sadly, it's time for me to leave Saudi Arabia. Had an incredible time, but, um, and it was too quick, too quick. There's so much more to see. But um, yeah, heading to the airport now. My belly is full of al -bake. I'm very happy. And I have a 14, 15 hour trip home. So it's gonna be a long one, but I uh, just had the most amazing trip. Okay, these guys are here. Ahmed, Ahmed, and of course, <laughs> Moat. It's time to go. Saudi Arabia, thank you for everything. I love you. See you again. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know me? Okay. Hello. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah, Mere. Ah, very good. I'm going home now. Yeah, sad. Nice to meet you too. Assalamu. <laughs> well, just like that, I get. Uh, nice little send off from an airport employee who recognized me from uh, Mary's story. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go try to sleep a little bit before this flight, I think, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just have coffee. Saudi Arabia, thank you so much. You were so welcoming and amazing. I'm gonna miss Saudi Arabia. And inshallah, I will return soon. Thank you. Shukran. Bye bye.